Hello there and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my Aldi haul. So a few things. Um, I had to pick up some extra things today because our fridge gave out on us. The one that we just got two and a half years ago um, was repaired for the third time. We have had no luck with this fridge unfortunately. I did have to replace like a bunch of condiments like mustards and olives and things like that just to replace whatever we had to throw away so the price is a little bit higher this month but also a video that I'm gonna be making coming up here soon is I let chat GPT which if you're not familiar with it it's like an AI program um, kind of almost like a Google search that gives you answers and whatnot but I decided to let chat GPT make our dinners for five nights so I just put it in there and it gave me a meal plan along with a grocery list so we're gonna do that I'm also gonna film that too just to see how the meals go so I picked up everything for our dinners so let me show you all that I got so starting off right down here one of the meals that we are having is actually spaghetti with garlic bread so I usually like to prefer to make my five ingredient cheesy bread but I'm gonna try to stick as close to the meal plan as possible that it gave me so I got the garlic bread I've never tried it before but I know that they also have a Parmesan Romano cheese bread but I decided just to grab the garlic one I did get some berries just to replace some of the things that we had to throw away unfortunately so two cartons of blackberries and along with some strawberries I went to Trader Joe's recently and I did not get enough pumpkin so I did decide to get one of the little cans look how cute that can is it's super cute I did get a can of pumpkin puree um, some chips back here for my kids lunches this has already gotten into some barbecue chips and then these looked I think they're new these are baked ranch chips thought those look really good okay so I did mention a whole slew of condiments so I didn't need to get some ketchup so I got their organic tomato ketchup I also picked up some salad dressing so this is our tried and true favorite one the aged balsamic vinaigrette my kids really love that but I also decided to get the house vinaigrette I actually just opened that right now and it is really really good definitely different um, flavor profiles but this one is like really nice and mellow so I actually kind of like that one um, we also had to get some mustard so I did get the whole grain mustard and luckily they had like a whole shelf of like charcuterie goods so that was kind of nice because this was also in the charcuterie we had to throw away some olives that were in our fridge but this one is a white cheddar cheese olive so I thought one that one sounded pretty darn good so got that uh, my daughter was with me and I let her choose some cereal so I let her get the fruit rounds as what she chose and something that I recently learned a few months ago is that Aldi I believe along with Trader Joe's if if I'm not correct please correct me but these two stores do not allow certain dyes in their products including these so you will not find any type of food coloring in them which is awesome so they try to naturally color all the foods so still not exactly healthy but definitely better than the national brand that we all know now generally I like to make my own marinara sauce but because the recipe list called for a jar of marinara sauce I did decide to get this now Rayo's is very good they do sell Rayo's at Aldi but I'll be honest whenever we tried this a long time ago I really loved it now I thought they had a, several different kinds but they only had one available today so that is what I picked up something really fun oh my goodness I wish I could have gotten all the cheeses but we do not need that much cheese this is a Winsleydale pumpkin cheese hello this is a Winsleydale pumpkin cheese they had like several others I'll just throw a little video up right here but I love love Winsleydale so I'm very excited to give this a try Another type of seasonal item that actually my mom told me about was the pumpkin spice cookies. Now, I prefer to make all of my baked goods, but sometimes you just got to try something different. And this I've never tried before. Um, and I believe there are 12 cookies, like little mini cookies in here. So I did get that. I had to throw away my really large wedge of Parmesan cheese that I got from Costco because it was no good anymore. So for now, I just, did just get like a small little wedge of it from Aldi, which will hold us over for quite a while until I need to get it from Costco. Spaghetti, they only sp sell spaghetti in like a two pound bag like this. Now, if you know, my husband does not like spaghetti, but he said for the sake of the video, he will eat it as is. So I'm not 
supplementing linguine for him. This is what we're having. I will be making some like chocolate chunk brownies here for my husband's coworkers. He likes to take a lot of my baked goods over there for them. So I am gonna make some espresso brownies. I have a delicious recipe that I have not made in quite a while. But they also sold not only semi-sweet chunks, but also dark chocolate chunks, which I so would have preferred. But I don't know if um, his coworkers enjoy dark chocolate, so I figure this is like a fan favorite. Something new that I have not seen there before is a, pump, is a butternut squash blend. Look at how delicious this is. This was in the freezer section and they also had a sweet potato blend but I thought that one looked just so, so good. In here it is, so it's butternut squash, spinach with red onion and cranberries and a garlic herb sauce. That sounds so delicious. So this is gonna stay in our freezer until I can figure out where we can have this with. So one of our meals is like a peppers and and sausage dinner. So I did get two different types of sausage. I got the beef smoked sausage along with a, a Polska kielbasa, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that correct, but it's made with both pork and beef. I figure like a combination of these two would be perfect. I also got some chicken thighs. So one of the meals is like a chicken and potato sheet pan dish. Now I only just did just get the one because I think there was only one or two chicken thighs left at Aldi and I hate always buying excess especially if there's like not a lot there i do have one package left though in my freezer outside from costco so i'm just going to combine those two to give us way more than that because we definitely need more than that and i believe these potatoes these are the gold potatoes these are going to go with this dish i'm pretty sure i need to relook at that that recipe list or but you guys just subscribe so that you can watch that video i'm curious to see how that turns out it was kind of nice not having to think <laughs> for once um i also got some spinach and arugula this i always like to have for like salads and wraps or underneath like a little salmon patty that i make for lunch always love to get that some zucchini that was also on the chat gbt list i believe that goes into the stir fry again not sure um some garlic i just needed to have some garlic on hand for all the dishes I've always been wanting to try the sun-dried tomato wraps. I usually get the spinach wraps. We do have some deli meat that is in our outdoor fridge that is still good. So gonna give this a try. I think my husband will be just fine with that. He did say he would love to try it. I did have to throw away some chicken nuggets. As you can see, it is opened already because I gave some to my daughter. Um, but I had to replenish that, so bought the chicken nuggets. These are really, really good. Some broccoli, a head of broccoli, or maybe like a head and a half in here for I believe stir fry, the green beans, I'm pretty sure this goes with the chicken thighs and the potatoes, I think these just get like thrown onto the pan. Some grapes back there for my kids' lunches. Bell peppers, I'm pretty sure bell peppers are for the stir fry. Red onion, I cannot remember offhand what that is for. I was thinking when I was setting this all up, what is this for? I'm sure I'll find out sooner or later. I did need to get some limes because our limes rotted in the fridge, unfortunately. So I just got a couple of those. I thought that they also sold bulk carrots at Aldi. I swear I could have seen them before, but they did not have them. And I needed them for two different recipes, but I still have about half a bag of baby carrots from Costco. So I'm hoping like the combination of the two will be enough. And the last thing that I did get is a very large bag of russet potatoes. I am also making some meatloaf with mashed potatoes. And I believe mashed potatoes are used in one other thing. I can't remember. Oh, I think it's in the kielbasa dish. Uh, the smoked sausage just I think I'm throwing in some potatoes there as well. That'll be interesting. I'm really interested to see how all these dinners turn out. But um, there's the haul. All right, my friends. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already because that video will be coming out here shortly with all the dinners. Hopefully chat GPT doesn't let me down and everything turns out good. But thank you guys for being here. I so appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.